Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to help you color code your calendar. Now there are two ways to color code your calendar. And depending on how you like to manage things, you can go one direction or the other, or you could use them both in conjunction with one another. There's a really easy way to do it. Here's the easy way to do it. Let's say that you have a meeting coming up on March 6th. You go to March 6th, you make a new meeting, maybe double click on that day. I'll make it a meeting from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it'll be a simple meeting. It'll have people coming to it, maybe June and Jacqueline. And it will be in one of our conference rooms. Great. Now at this point, if you go to the top of the screen, there is a categorized drop-down menu. And on the categorized drop-down menu are all the categories that you either have or haven't set up for Outlook. Now notice here immediately, whether you've set them up or not, you have the colors, but they could be set up as green or purple or red. Or if you have set them up, you could set them up as GMX Acrobat Project or at Fiscal Year 18 Second Half Marketing Campaign. So if you go to all categories, you can set up any category color you want by clicking on that cat category color and hitting rename to give it a new name. And if you don't like the colors that are already here, you can go new right over here and assign a name to one of these color categories. So let's say I go to purple here and I'll do uh, sales training, right? So sales training is a category for our meetings. Notice here there's a little checkbox now, I click OK, and we have assigned sales training, this deep purple color, to this meeting. I then hit send, and as you can see on my calendar, the sales training meeting is deep purple. However, there's another way of approaching it. Let's say that you always put things on your calendar in a very systematic and um, organized way. Now let's say on March 8th you have a meeting. So you go to March 8th and double click on March 8th and uh, let's say you have a meeting from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And that meeting is with Jacqueline and June. And it's in the, it's on the topic of sales training. Notice I've put in sales training in the subject line and maybe some further detail. Then I'll go here to rooms, assign it a room, and click OK. Now I will not take the time to go to categorize right up here at the top and assign the category of sales training to it. Instead, I'm going to hit send. Notice that it is not purple. But by going to the view tab at the top of the screen, I can customize how the view of my calendar works so that I can decide to add color to things that are already in there. So I'll click on my view settings over here in the top left hand corner and I'll go into something called conditional formatting. Conditional formatting says that if the thing that we're looking at meets certain conditions, certain criteria, then we will format it, color it or use fonts or whatever in a particular way. So I click on conditional formatting. I go ahead and add a new rule. That rule will be called sales training. It will assign the color of deep purple to it. And here's the most important part. We have to give it a condition. So we click on condition and we say, okay, I want you to look in the subject field for the words sales training. Then hit okay. Then hit okay. Then hit okay. And notice that instantly, even though we did not assign the sales training uh, category to this meeting, it still turns that same deep purple color because we said, well, if it happens to say the word sales training in the subject line, turn it purple anyway. So you can either add a category to something or you can use conditional formatting in order to set up the way it looks based off of the criteria of that particular meeting. 